Jo. Okay, so from the first movement, they are very different. For Shorinryu, it does a ageuke upper block and a lower block. However, Shotokan does a chudan uke, so it's the block against a punch coming to the stomach and a low block. Also, the stances are different. Shorinryu has the weight on the back leg, however, Shotokan has it at the front. You might be thinking, well, it's just a different stance, but this is a huge difference here. Shotokan, you keep the weight on the front leg and block, so it's not as hard. You can, you know, still deliver the power forward. However, Shorinryu, you move back and block forward, so there has to be that adjustment of balance there. So it was very hard for me when I practiced Shorinryu. So for this part, there are mainly three differences. As for the first block, in Shorinryu, it's more of like a hook block. They use the wrist to hook the opponent's arm close to them. That's why they bring the arm closer in. However, Shotokan just evades it to the side. So there is no, I guess, uh, grabbing and bringing it close to you kind of movement. The second motion is the, the punches. Um, Shorinryu has two, Shotokan has three, so there's another difference. And the last difference is the Maigiri front kicks. Uh, for Shotoka, we kick with the ball, however, Shonin Ryu kicks with their toes. Okay, moving on. Hey! Hi! So there are mainly three differences here again. For the Ageuke, which is the upper block, Shotokan crosses the arm, however Shorinryu does it one hand because they can rely more on the wrist rotation. The second point is the width of our stance. Shorinryu's uh, Zheng Sudachi is a lot more shorter compared to Shotokan. And the last point is the aim of the punch. Shorinryu punches to the head, however Shotokan does it to the stomach. So this part is pretty different. So what Shorinryu is doing, it's, it's grabbing the kick with the backhand and throwing it forward. For the shoulder conversion, it's purely a block and then a strike. Maybe there are different bunkais, however, that's the major way of practicing this part. Also, like last time, there is no hikite for the um, gedanbarai or the low block for the last part. As for this part, Shorinryu is using the shuto part, which is the side edge of the hand, to swipe the attack away. However, Shotokan is using the bone right above the wrist to smack the block to the side. So it's a different sensation that these two blocks have. Also, the stances are different. Shotokan has a wider stance called kibadachi, and Shorinryu has their shikodachi a little bit um, more narrow. So, so far, which version of Jion do you like more, Shotokan or Shorinryu? Let me know the reason why as well. Also, if you'd like to level up your karate with me, come check out my online karate lesson from the link in the top right corner. For only now, I'm giving away a 24% discount code for the first two months because it was my 24th birthday. I hope you guys don't miss out on this opportunity. Okay, back to the video. For this part, both Shorinryu and Shotokan has a very similar interpretation for the Bunkai. We both block the Maigiri and then throw that up to get the opponent off balanced. However, the part where we use to block the Maigiri is slightly different. Shorinryu uses the inside of the wrist, however Shotokan uses the outside with the low block. And the movement after that where you get their arm and then you bring it to the side is pretty similar. <laughs> 
For this part, Shotokan is defending itself against a Maiyiri. First, you smack the front leg using the two fists and then swinging that leg to the side using the second motion. However, Shoryu is defending itself against a grab from the back. So with the first movement where you bring the elbow up, they're doing that to get the opponent's arm up. And then smacking or I guess throwing the opponent back using the second movement where you step back. Also, the another difference here is that Shotokan is doing a strike or block right after this, a double hand strike or block. However, for Shoryu, what it's doing is it's preparing itself for the next movement. This part is very different. For Shoryu, it's blocking down, down, and then striking forward. However, Shotokan is first blocking up using that cross block and then doing a Jodan and then a Chudan block simultaneously and then striking forward. Also, the aim of the strike is slightly different. Shoryu has a lower strike, however, um, Shotokan is aiming for that part right under the nose, so right on the gum of your teeth. So another interesting part here, for Shotokan, it's going to turn 90 degrees first and then from there you're going to be moving on a straight line. You do a Uchiuke first, or some people call it Sotouke, and then strike forward, and then you turn around, do the same thing again. However, for Shorinryu, you first don't turn 90 degrees, you only turn 45 diagonally with a Gedanbarai, a low block. And then you do a strike, and then the next part is very very interesting you do a tetsuyuchi a hammer fist strike to the side and then you look 45 degrees again and do a strike so this part is obviously very different shorinyu is staying on the ground and using a block to the side however shotokan is bringing the front leg up and then striking down the most important point here is that Shotokan is not bringing the center of gravity up. It's keeping the center of gravity relatively at the same level, however bringing the arm up for the extra momentum. So just in mind that we're not hopping up. So as for the last part, Shorinyu is purely attacking twice, to the left side and then to the right side. However, the way they bring back the arm is pretty unique, so they bring it up to the top, they drop it down and then they bow. For Shotokan, you first block the opponent's um, attack with that C looking hand, you grab the opponent's arm, pull it close to you and strike using your fist. We do that two times to the left side and then to the right side. And we just bring the arm back to the original position, don't bring the arm down, and just bow forward. Now let's watch the whole sequence side by side. Jump.
So now that you've watched all the way till the end, which version of Gion did you like more? The Shotokan version or the Shorinu version? And let me know the reason why as well. Personally, I love Gion of the Shotokan version because I've been doing it so many times, but seeing something new like that pop up in front of me, I'm starting to like Shorinu a little bit more because it's just so new to me. So thanks for watching all the way. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming Gojuryu series. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.